I have a storage package on Complio, I am going to log right back in, and this is what I see as soon as I'm logged in. This is the reminder notification, and you'll see this every time that you log into Complio if there's something you're not compliant in. Now, for compliance on, on this website and with Harrisburg Area Community College, you need to be compliant within four areas. Your tuberculosis test, your Pennsylvania criminal check, your Pennsylvania child abuse check, and your FBI fingerprint check. And those handouts, uh, those are on the one-page handout, the directions to obtain all of those. The only one you can receive through American Data Bank is the criminal check, and that's that package number two, the screening package for $14. Otherwise, you will follow directions on the one-page directions and you will obtain your tuberculosis test and upload it to the database, your criminal, I'm sorry, your child abuse check and your FBI fingerprint check. All of those are done outside of this database and then you will take your document, you'll take a picture of it, you'll scan it, and you'll put it right into this data bank. Now, I'm going to log out of here. I'm going to show you how to upload those things. It does give you a nice video for the first time that you visit and it will show you a very detailed way to do this. I'm going to do the quick video, and if you need help, please go back and view this video. Now, you can see right now I am not compliant in any way, shape, or form. So what you need to do, um, this is your main profile board. This should show every time you log in. If at any point you're somewhere else in the website and you want to come back to this, you're going to use the Upload Documents tab at the top, and that will get you back to this area. Now I'm going to start, and let's see if I can do this for you in a simple way, with um, my Pennsylvania criminal check. I already have my criminal check, so I didn't order it through them. What you're going to do is you're going to um, put in Enter Requirement. You'll do that for each of your documents. And then you're going to select Pennsylvania criminal check. And scroll down a little bit and you're going to look at your criminal check and you're going to put the date on it um, of when it's compliant. Now I don't know the date because mine is right now filed in my computer so I'm going to have to do that second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to browse on my computer and I'm going to find it. Bear with me. I have to always find where my things are. Let's see. There's my criminal check. I'm going to choose that. Okay, and now you can see that it is there. Now, unfortunately, I don't know the, I didn't get to see the date because I didn't pull it up. And since we're doing the video, I'm just going to put a date in. I'm, But you will look at your actual uh, report and you'll see what the date is. And I, I got mine somewhere in the spring last year. So we'll put that in. And the document is <clears throat> selected. And I'm going to put in that my, my criminal record check is clear. If you have a criminal record, at that point you will choose flagged. But I'm going to choose clear. If you want to share anything with the reviewers, um, I, I do review these, but we also have a verification team at American Data Bank, and they will also be reviewing things. So if you want to put something in that you know it's going to expire in another month, that you will be back to renew it, or anything you want, you can add in the notes section there. And then you hit submit. Now what happens is that does not automatically give you compliance in this area. After you submit the document, what's going to happen is either myself or a team of reviewers will look at that document. We will make sure that it is an authentic document and that it follows all the areas that we need to determine your compliance. So that's why it's going to say not compliant up here. It should say pending review in most cases if you've done this correctly. Now mine does not say that yet and that's okay. What's going to happen now is the pending review is over here they will see that and they will verify that. Now, you will do the same thing for tuberculosis. You will do the same thing for your child abuse check and your FBI fingerprint check. 
I want to note that for the FBI finger check, fingerprint check, we do not need the official document that they send you in the mail. That is for your own records. All we need is the number that begins with the letters PAE from your registration. Once you have that, take a picture of your receipt or uh, upload the receipt and put the PAE number in the notes section. And that way we can run that check right away and you don't have to wait for that fingerprint check to come in the mail. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is show you how to upload documents in your optional category. And that's going to be in our next video.